When in Alice Springs, there's only one place the Overlander eats. Overlander's Steakhouse. Here I got the chance to eat crocodile, kangaroo, emu and camel. The owners made me feel most welcome, inviting me to dine with some of their waitresses. They even branded my belt for me. But I got out of there when they started getting kinky. Did you know that Australia has the only wild population of Arabian camels in the world? It's true. They reckon there are about 200,000 roaming around the outback. They were originally brought over here in the 1860s to cart stuff around the outback. And now we even sell them back to the Arabs. Hey, that guy's got a bigger hat than me. I don't think you can see out of it though. Now a lot of people who visit Alice check out the big rock, Uluru. Well I won't be doing a story on the rock, I'm heading further afield, but it's definitely worth checking out. As well as all the other big rocks. I'm going to do a story on another Aboriginal community. And before you say, not another one Overlander, I want to tell you my reasoning. Australia's only a young country, white fellas only been here for just over 200 years, and most of that history is just convicts and cattle barons. If you want to get to know the land, and the stories of the land, you got to ask the Aborigines. So say hello to Benjamin Abbott from the Wallace Rockhole community. This place is a dry area, so alcohol's not to be bought in this area. Um, and that's good again because um, you don't, you know, through alcohol, if you have alcohol there's a lot of fighting and because it's a dry area we don't have any problems like that. Because everyone's all family out here, um, whenever I want to have a break or go to town or something, I've always got someone to look after my kids, so yeah, it's pretty good, you know, yeah, everyone helps each other. And another thing is, um, me, I can do what I like out here, um, it's my place, my grandfather left this behind for us. We look after the place, you know, um, it's our home, so we look after it. Um, I go walking in these hills, do what I like around here, um, and it's pretty good for me. Go out hunting, you know, get meat and stuff like that. But they grow into more of a bush. But when I do the tour, um, it's a cultural one. So when I start off, I'll talk about a few of the bush medicines, um, bush berries and that that we collect to eat. Um, I show a lot of tourists and that, because they don't know what it is and what things there's in there, you know. I do um, tell them about the plants, the bush berries, and I go ahead and show them the handprints that were done last by my ancestors, and they're pretty old, and they're really interested in seeing it, you know. And a lot of tourists come here that don't know too much about Aboriginal culture, and um, a lot of tourists come up to me and say, I didn't know anything about that. It makes me feel good too, and um, they say they learned a bit about Aboriginal culture, so yeah, it's, that's what I like about it, you know, telling to other people about our culture, yeah.